Hello everyone. In today's video I break down an article released by Bleeping Computer quoting the French CERT. You will find the link to the article in the description below. The article is about an attack on VMware ESXi that might have affected many servers in Italy, Finland, France and the UK. The attack is using a two-year-old vulnerability of OpenSLP which operates on port 427. The attack exploits a heap overflow vulnerability of SLP and affects ESXi versions 7.x, 6.7x and 6.5x prior to the security updates listed here. If your ESXi is running on any of these versions and thus has not been updated, you should disable OpenSLP immediately. Also, you should look for signs of a breach or data being stolen. However, it appears that attacks that use this vulnerability did in fact not steal any data. But this is not guaranteed as of yet. We are dealing with a ransomware attack, meaning an attack that encrypts all your files using, in this case, RSA and offering to decrypt them when you pay a certain amount, usually in Bitcoin. The name of this novel ransomware is ESXi Arcs. I will not go into too much detail. If you're interested in a more technical breakdown, please read Bleeping Computer's article you find in the description. After the breach of a server, a shell script, unironically called encrypt.sh, is executed. This script loads a public RSA key to encrypt the files and stops all virtual machines by force terminating them. It then looks for a variety of files to decrypt them and places the ransom node as ESXi's starting page. Afterwards, it cleans up by removing a backdoor called vmtools.py, which has been seen in previous attacks. If you find this file on your system, delete it immediately. If you are not affected, please make sure your software is up to date. There is no reason to be vulnerable to a two-year-old CVE. For those affected, NS Sonmets and Ahmed Aikats can help you decrypting your files. See the link in the description. That concludes today's video. Hope to see you in the next. Until then, stay safe.